Welcome back everyone, I'm Danny the Disney Drawer and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw Donald Duck. So as you guys can see, I'm using very little materials today. We're going to be starting off with a regular school pencil, an eraser, then the next step will be a pen, and then at the very end we'll add in some color pencils, um, which is going to be great. Um, so yeah, those are the basic things we're going to need, so go ahead and get those things out along with your paper, and we will get started. We are first going to start off with an outline to like, like plan out where we're going to put everything on the paper. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put a circle right here. Maybe make it a little larger, but we're drawing very lightly in this stage. So that's going to represent Donald Duck's head. The Donald Duck's neck and body are at a complete slant. So do like a like a C shape right there. Then once you're done with that, we're going to make like a cross right here. This is right. This is going to be like his shoulders. So this arm is going to be behind him. And remember, his body is going to be a little fatter than that skinny line. Then this hand is going to be raised. And it's going to be grabbing onto his hat. It's going to have one leg pushed off to the side like so. It's going to have those big duck feet. The other one is going to be where all his weight is. So he's leaning heavily on this one, and this one's sort of like splayed out to the side. He's kind of his tail sticking up. Yeah, as I said, this arm is going to be tucked behind him. And then it's going to have his bill. It's going to be smiling very widely. By the way, guys, Donald Duck is my favorite Disney cartoon character. Like from the old cartoons. So let's try and put a little bit more detail in now that we've got the basic outline. He's got a bow tie. He's wearing his, like, sailor's sweater. His shirt comes right about to here. And yeah, he's got like three points on each of his flippers. So we'll put those in. His pupils are going to be looking down this way. Now the hands of Donald Duck are actually going to be really hard because he's got like one finger lifted up and two fingers down on his hat and then his thumb is going to be bent back like that. So if you can get that down, you're good to go. <laughs> Hands are definitely one of the hardest things to draw. Okay, so he's got his little sailor's cap there. And I'm trying to think what else we can add before we get into the pen stage. Um, I think we're good. He's got like some stripes here. And he's got a little collar behind the neck. Okay, so let's move on to the next stage in which we will be using our pens. So we are going to be working from the top to the bottom, which means we're going to start off by penning in the, the hand. So do this part more carefully, because as you guys may know, you can't erase pen marks. So he's got the pinky there, and curve up and put this finger in. So don't finish the finger like completely, because it's sort of sunk into the hat. Then the hat is also going to curve around here a little bit more of the hat and then that's when we add in the other finger it also is going to be a little bit sunk into the hat and the hat's going to curve up where this is its thickest point and curve down like so i'm going to have like the the black rim part of the hat and the rest of it sort of like cushiony it's got like a soft texture to it yeah, this black part is not soft. And then we're going to have, so remember in cartoon characters the hands are usually a little bigger than usual. So the bigger the hand, the more cartoons will be. <laughs> so it's fine. Then we're going to have a little line here in the palm. And then we should go ahead and color this in except for, yeah, we'll just go ahead and color it all in except for a little white line right there. I was just looking at it for a second because I was like, hmm, is that the inside of the hat? And I think it is. I think this is like the, the bottom of the hat. I couldn't tell if it was a stripe or just the inside of the hat. Okay, so I think that's the inside of the hat. And then let's add a little bit of black around these fingers. Then I'm going to add in the wrist. 
then right about here is where his jacket sleeve is going to come. It's kind of way stretched up there. It's going to have part of the jacket being stretched up. Then this sleeve is going to have one yellow stripe, which we will color in later. And we're going to let the ink set for a bit before we do any erasing of the pencil lines. Okay, so the next thing I think we'll do is his bill, which is a very challenging part. So we're going to try and tackle it step by step. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually put in like the top of his smile. So put in like a little parentheses mark right about there. Then we're going to take our pencils and slowly curve up and do a line like so. So you may want to do it first a little bit more definite in pencil and then do the pen line. Um, but yeah, just be careful on that part. So we're going to take our pencils and slide them up, curve around. And remember, his bill is not going to be too thick right here. It's going to be actually quite thin. And that line will continue right about there. And here we're going to have the top of his bill. And there's a little line that comes right about there. But yeah, his his eyes are going to be right right touching the bill. It's going to curve down right there. Okay, so so far so good. The next thing we're going to add is his tongue, which is just going to be like a little Dorito ship there, just like a triangle shape. And then after that, we're going to take our pens, our pens and take a line from here to create the inside of the bottom bill. I almost said bottom jaw because I'm so used to saying the bottom jaw of the dinosaurs, you know. So we're going to draw like a, a parallel line that's not going to be too far away from the bill. So the bill is like quite thin on the bottom as well. And I think that is pretty good. I'm going to make this line a little thicker. That inside line. A little thicker right here. Okay, so now we can add in Donald's eyes. So these are going to be very tall. <clears throat> so go ahead and put that first arch in, then the second arch. Now the second one's going to be a little bit more difficult because we're not going to complete the whole arch because his, his head's sort of at an angle. So this eye is actually going to... Well, I guess we're completing the arch, but just it's going to be a little bit thinner than this one because it's not like straight on. Then we're going to have a little brow ridge that starts right here. I'm going to try and keep my hand out of the way because I've gotten comments before saying that my hand is blocking the pencil line, or pen line in this case. And then we're going to put those little tufts of, I guess they're feathers if they look like hair, on the top of Donald's head. I'm going to draw the back of his head. There's like another another little wrinkle there. Okay, so now I can put in the pupils, which are going to be solid black. So we can go ahead and color those in right away. Or you can wait to do that later with a colored pencil if you'd like. Because you could also do that with a black colored pencil. Alright, so Donald's already coming to life. <laughs> so let's move on to the neck. Just, just draw a little line, not very long. Then we have his jacket, and I actually apologize because I put the bow tie in the wrong place. It's going to be a little lower because we need to have space for his neck and for his collar. So his collar is going to come down right about here, and this is where the bow tie will be. So draw the center part of the bow tie right about there. Let's draw that one fold. It sticks out. It's got like a very <laughs> cartoonish looking bow tie here. It's like very 3D. Okay, so let's draw the outer edge of his collar on both sides. And then here we're going to put in those two stripes, which are also going to be in yellow, on either side of him, like going over his shoulders. And here we can continue the line of his jacket. It's going to be pretty round. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to this arm, which is going to, just going to come down here, 
doesn't require much talent, just slight slant downhill line. This is going to be right where his armpit is, so put a wrinkle there. Then his jacket is going to come down. So you really want to make the, the round, you really want to curve that line nicely. If you just drew it straight, it would look terrible. So make sure it's round so you can see the shape of his body. Okay, so let's put in the tail now. It's got like one tuft there, the biggest tuft. I'm just laughing at all the times his tail gets burnt or <laughs> blown up and stuff in the cartoons. So let's just follow the line we did with our pencil for his belly. Then his foot or his leg is going to come out right about here out of those feathers. Might be a little bit shorter than I initially drew it. So draw those lines. Then we're just going to finish the last part of his body back there. And let's go ahead and put the other leg in. Which again might be a tiny bit shorter. So I'm actually going to erase the feet real quick. And then we can... I guess we could redraw them with our pencils first. He's got that, like three toes basically. Three points to his flippers. So he weren't really too off, just wanted to move the feet a tiny bit up. And his feet are very flat to the ground. You'd think he wouldn't leave like very deep footprints, but in the cartoons he's always leaving huge footprints. My favorite ones were always the ones with Chip and Dale. Those are always the funniest. <laughs> Okay, so I think we are pretty much done with the pen stage. It's looking very good. I hope yours is looking the same. And yeah, let's go pick out those colored pencils. After some time rubbaging in my pencil box, I came up with these seven different colors. We got a pink one here for the tongue of Donald Duck. We got a light blue for his eyes, or for the inside of his eyes. We got like a darker blue here for his jacket and hat. We got a red one for his bow tie bright yellow one for his like stripes there then we got one for his bill i think it was might have been yeah this one's for his bill and for his um flippers then we got one for the inside of his mouth okay so you guys can use markers whatever medium you want you can use pastels i don't care but yeah let's get started i think i'm going to go with the easiest and shortest part of the coloring stage which is going to be the tongue that is so small it's going to take like two seconds so we are done with that. I can put that pencil away. And then now I'm going to get out the brightest yellow color and go ahead and color in those stripes. So you want to color nice and full, not getting out of the lines, but yeah, going right up to the lines because you want that cartoon effect. So I think that's it because the other stripe is hidden. So I can put that pencil away as well. So now we already have only five left. And now we can do the blue. So this is not the exact blue color. I couldn't really find one that matched exactly. So some of these are Artessa pencils, but this one is like a Prismacolor pencil, which in my opinion are like the best colored pencils you can find out there are Prismacolor. But the Arteza ones are very good as well. So now we can move on to his sleeve. And we're going to be careful not to create a green color by mixing the blue and the yellow together. So I'm trying to get more into coloring these days. You guys probably all saw my Justin Bieber drawing on my Danny the Dinosaur Drawer channel. But yeah, I'm sort of exploring more colored pencil drawings. I've been doing a bunch, but I haven't videoed all of them. So I'm going to try and also video more of those. Uh-oh. <laughs> you guys probably noticed this. I just made a big mistake. I the, the um, What I just colored here is actually supposed to be yellow. And this is his... um collar which is blue 
So my mistake, guys. I can fix this. Just don't worry. Don't panic. Just by adding a line there. Let's go ahead and color. I hope you guys didn't make that same mistake. If you saw my mistake before I did it, please comment below. That would be so interesting. But yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty good. Even though I didn't color the yellow stripe in. I accidentally colored in the collar. Okay, so get out your red pencil and we will do the bow tie. Draw it as dark as you can because it's a very solid red color. There we go. Still see a little bit of white under there. So I'm going to go quickly take care of that. And then we can begin with our yellow pencils. So this is the darker of the two, I think. It looks pretty light, but let's go ahead and draw the inside of his mouth with this darker yellow color. If I need to make it darker, I'll just add some. Actually, I'm going to do that because I like this color for the rest of it. But actually, let me test this one out real quick. I mean, that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and just do what I planned. I'm going to use this for his bill and flippers. Then after we finish the yellow portion of this drawing, we can color in his eyes, which are a very light blue color. You guys might have seen my video of Donald Duck playing the bagpipes. It was like a speed drawing. But in that, in that drawing, I really messed up and did his eyes too dark. So it looks like he's frozen or something. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's get out our light blue pencil and draw very lightly his eyes. So there you go guys. We are done with our Donald Duck drawings. The only thing left to do is sign our drawings, which you don't have to do if you want to leave it like that, but I'm going to sign mine next to his foot here and put in the year that I drew it. So I'll remember when I look at this drawing later. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, leave this video a like if you enjoyed it, and comment below what you think I should draw in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.